Hello and good morning. This is a quick video on the Guava Family Lotus Traveling Crib. Um, I just picked this up a couple weeks ago before I was heading to Chicago with our one-year-old. Um, wanted to make sure we had something that uh, we could bring either in an airplane or in our car with us without taking up too much space and without being too heavy. Um, after checking several different lists of reviews, uh, in comparisons, this one seemed like the best, best basic, simple one that uh, hit the boxes that we were looking for. So anyway, um, I've used it uh, three or four times now. I love the fact that it's so easy to set up and it does pack back into its original bag. Um, this is it. And it does have backpack straps, so you can carry it just like a backpack. And you can also carry it from the top. So let's jump in here. Um, so I bought this off Amazon Prime. Um, $236.55 is what I paid for it. Um, it's supposed to be 15 pounds. I will double check that here during this video. Um, it's reported to have a packed up size of 24 by 12 by 8, making it uh, typically friendly for carry-on on most airlines in the U.S. Always double check uh, your actual limits when traveling. Don't take my word for it. Um, but let's take those dimensions on the actual pack just so you have some idea. Um, so you're not just taking it from the uh, manufacturer. All right, so let's get the length here. Okay. So length is coming in at 23 inches. <clears throat> height yeah I would kind of call it like 12 and a quarter it's a little bit compressible so maybe that 12 inches is fair but it's a little bit over that somewhere like 12 and a quarter and for width eh, call it eight and a half I mean it's a little bit compressible, so it could get into that space as advertised, but honestly, resting dimensions, eight and a half. Let's weigh it. Ooh, 15 pounds on the dot. All right, I checked that one. All right. So we covered the dimensions and the weight, what I paid. Um, let's set it up. Let's get this thing open and let me show you how easy it is to set up. So in the bag, you've got the mattress wrapped around, kind of like a taco. So start by grabbing everything else in the center. Set that aside for a minute. You can move the mattress out of the way. And we're just gonna open up these spider legs. Okay. And flip it over. And it basically opens itself, to be honest. Okay, so that's most of the way there, and now we're just going to stretch the legs out all the way. Okay, that's those. And that's those. Okay, determine which side you want the zipper door to be on, you know, because your baby or toddler can crawl in and out on his own. So I wanted that to be there. On this side, then you'd leave it the way it is. Next up, you're gonna take your mattress, and you want the buckles to face down to the ground. And as long as they're facing down, it's symmetrical, you can't get it wrong. And you're gonna reach in with your arm, and you're gonna there's cutouts in the floor and you're going to take your one arm 
and hand and manipulate the buckle through the slot. And then there's a little buckle that it's gonna click down to. Do the same for all four corners. Okay, you're reaching in, you're manipulating through the slot. And here's the force arm. Okay. That's it. This thing's fully set up. So, I think what I would tell you, um, this mattress is really, really thin. So, for my child, I figured, let me buy some foam. I'll cut it to size and uh, make it a little bit more comfortable for my baby. So if you're interested in doing that, um, you're going to need a piece of foam. And that's about 20, 22 to 23 inches wide. About 40 inches in length. And you could go with two inch thick, three inch thick. I wouldn't recommend going much thick, thicker than that. I think I went with three inch thick foam. So that's it. Let me show you how to disassemble it and put it away again, which I think is only slightly more challenging than setting it up. So let's get these unbuckled. mattress back out and this time you're gonna set the mattress into the bag kind of make the taco shape make sure your bag fits around it it is a pretty snug fit okay set that aside and now pay attention to this star and this star you can see those two and this moon and this moon here okay and those are mildly important because that tells you kind of how to fold it so there's a mechanism that unlocks it and allows it to fold uh, let's see here so it's behind the star and let's see where this one at and this one's behind the moon so on the length side just put your hands behind the two astrological bodies so the star and the moon and you'll feel a little lever so pinch that with your hand and that'll unlock it and then you're going to collapse it allowing the moon and the moon to kiss and the star and the star to kiss so like that, and like that. And then collapses like a sandwich. And now you can flip it upside down, I find is the easiest. And once here, you're gonna give a little tug towards you on each leg. So grab with, I'm right-handed, so grab with your left hand on the base of the leg and separate it just slightly like you're cracking a knuckle. And that'll allow that to unlock and fold. Same thing with all four legs. Pull that towards you. Pull that towards you. And that's it. Now she is ready. Go right back into the carrying case. We're gonna put this meat into the taco. And it's a pretty tight fit, but it does fit. And here, I believe you want the, so these two folds are different sizes. So you can see this one here is about an inch taller. 
to fold the shorter one first and the taller one goes over it and then work your bag around it same thing work your bag around it the other side zip it shut there you have it throw these backpack handles around my back and lug this 15 pound unit to the airport or wherever you're going into the car through the city whatever. so that's it the guava family lotus travel crib <clears throat> thanks for watching and uh definitely i recommend adding a layer of foam for the mattress and then kind of wrap it in a non-fitted uh, bed sheet so that it stays secure and clean but uh, that's it thanks for watching